Shalom. Shabalama. Ding dong. I'm in clothes this time. Okay, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be going over the Dr. Martens. Oh, I wanted these for so long. They're so cool. Look at this. Like, I weighed these shoes. Just a little information for y'all. They are a pound and a half each. So they're three pounds total on your feet. So like, you see me walking in these. Don't mess with me. <laughs> okay, this video is not gonna be long because it's actually just kind of like a review over the boot now that I've had it for a little bit. Long story short, A plus. <laughs> uh, you know, I have my phone with notes, so I guess I could check that out. So first, I want to talk about the shoe size. They say to, I don't know, Dr. Martens are weird. I always do my best to try to find them in store. Uh, I know with things going on right now, it's going to be a little bit more tedious to do that. But I always like to try my shoes on in store so that way I can see how they really fit. Especially when it comes to Doc Martens and their sizing, it's a little different. I love dogs. I even went and got these. So if you want me to do a review over the sandals, because it is still summer, I can do that. But I was wanting it to really do these because now that I've had them, I've broken them in. As you can see, I got that crease in that boot. So, uh, but back to size. One, I got my size. Yes, <laughs> sorry. I did get my actual foot size in these. Um, and that worked out for me. Some people actually have to go down a size. Some people go up a size. I guess like, for example, in the Doc Sandals, I went down a size, but for these, I kept my size. So next is breaking them in. And boy, did I have to break mine in. So I ordered mine online from the actual Doc Martens website. So these came in brand spanking new, meaning no one was walking around in them in store, trying them on, breaking them in none of that <laughs> um so it took let's see i got these in De i ordered them in december i got them in january of 2020 who knew <laughs> this is who knew where we'd be now okay anyway uh so it was still kind of cold when i got to wear these you can wear these in the summer i have yet to wear mine and the reason uh there's no shoestrings is because i will get into detail about that but it involves this but anyway so breaking them in is a doozy uh if you look there are a few other videos but this is why i'm making mine to really describe like breaking them in was tough like i never had a real leather working boot and that is what this is like you guys hear that like it's <laughs> they're still being worked in but uh it does take time i recommend having long socks thick socks both gotta have both um because right here especially for me even now they're still pretty tough so like when you're bending and moving that right there that part is gonna get you so having like extra protection right there is gonna be really helpful uh, same for right here <laughs> you know when you're bending down yeah see when you're bending it's still really tough so those socks are gonna come in handy even band-aids you know and stuff like that i also recommend just kind of like moving them around yourself, like going in and just like messing them up. Not like, some people put heat on it. I personally don't recommend that only because heat and leather generally do not mix. So doesn't mean you can't do it. It's just not my preference. I just took it like a, took it like a G and walked in them. Um, but it did take at least like two months to really break them in. And I don't recommend trying to one man it. So, and what I mean by that is like, do simple stuff in it um you know you'll see like i just said a lot of other videos they talk about walking around in them and then taking them off i <laughs> didn't do that probably should have so my feet were sore a few times but i i wore mine all day i just made sure that like what i was trying to do if i was gonna be walking it wasn't like extensive long hard walking but shoot now these bad babies are ready to go okay Next, I wanted to talk about kind of like the shoe care. Long story short, 
this is so important make sure you get the shoe kit that comes or it doesn't come with it you gotta buy it i know these shoes are already expensive and then now they're having you spend more money but it's totally worth it um that's like i said that's why my shoestrings are out i had just did the first round of the wonder balm it's kind of confusing you can kind of do these each or which way i'm not that good <laughs> at shoes um, but one is really good in the beginning to help loosen up the leather, you know, help it soften to your shoe. The other one is really good for protection, so aka rain <laughs> and stuff like that because it is leather. Okay, okay. So yeah, this is just why, you know, really important kit. It comes with everything you need. It comes with shoelaces so you can, you know, change out your shoelaces, make your shoes cooler. You know, if your cat or your dog gets to them, boom, you're already good to go. So yeah, that is my review. I definitely love these shoes. This is gonna be really weird to say, but with how times are going, I feel so safe in these. Like I said, these are a pound and a half each. So, got and my parents, <laughs> they love it for me as well, that I got a big old shoe, so they know when I'm stomping in these and I'm, I'm pretty good to go. If you guys want me to do a review over the sandals, at some point, just let me know. Just leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know, no hate, no judging. And yeah, I guess I'll just be doing kind of reviews or something. I don't know. Just let me know. Bye. <laughs>